Hello guys, welcome back to AM Casa. Today I'm here in Milan at the Hublot Boutique at Pisa for a special interview with a special artist. We had an event last night at Gildato Art Gallery and today we finally discover something more about Richard Orlinski's own world. Mr. Orlinski, merci d'être là. Avec plaisir, nice to meet you today. Likewise, thank you for taking the time for the interview and uh, congrats on the event. Thank you very much. So, they told me it's your first time in Milan. Not really like your mm. own first time, but your professional first time. Yeah, to be honest, I've been, I've been there one time for a special reason. I've been, I've been there for a charity okay. auction with football players, very famous football players, but it was a long time ago. And it was very cool, but I only I know, stay like for the night, you know, for the for the for the for the event that we come by plane and go back. <laughs> only so I just see the 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 room, yeah, and then yeah. back the plane, and that's it. But it was to be honest, but it's my real first time that I can appreciate the city, the view, and everything. So yeah, sounds like your life is plane, yeah. plane, 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 yeah, plane, a lot plane. of planes, a lot yeah. of planes. But it's very cool to be honest. I'm very I'm happy to be there, and uh, it, it, it is very authentic. Uh, I love this, this place, and I. I work a lot with the Milan, Milanese, so yeah. Of course, we've yeah. seen Deodato, yeah, that was yeah. a beautiful yeah. uh, exposition. We have some here as well, which, yeah, is, which is definitely cool, and the sculpture yeah. uh, downstairs, which yeah. really drives a lot of attention. You do drive attention. In I hope so, I don't know. Yeah, yeah Maybe, else? maybe, if you, say you? That, if you say that. Yeah, yeah no, yeah. I think so. Okay. Everyone was looking at it. Yeah. So do you have time afterwards to enjoy Milan a bit? Or very, very, very few. This afternoon, then there is another party tonight, and then back to Paris. Wow. Well, if you need anything, just let us know. We'll provide I you will, with, I will, with I will. Of I, course. I will, of course. So, how do you define yourself? You're an artist, of course, but do you have a definition? Do you have something that describes you more than artist? I, I think my, my point of view is the art is uh, something global. Okay. It's not like uh, pa uh, painting, sculpting, movie. I think art is all. It's everything. So it's very more wide term. So I'm thinking like that. I'm involved in a, in a way uh, like uh, my little uh, <laughs> little, little uh, middle, like uh, Andy Warhol was. You know, I, I am like proteiform, multifaceted artist. Of course. Because I'm involved in music. In a movie, before, yeah. in cartoon, in a, in sports, so so I have like I love that because I love to be I'm very curious. I love to be in, involved in many many fields, and so maybe I can say that I am like uh, just a guy who is a uh, who, who is interested by life. Of course, do you have a main field you like the most apart from sculpture? Of course, music. You know, music. I, I love music. Yes, uh, I'm a, I'm a, I'm playing music as a DJ. I'm like traveling all over the world to in festivals and play. In front of like thousand and thousand people, so wow. it's very exciting. Um, but the most emotion and the things the stronger with adrenalina, the, it is the theater, the, okay. the show, the one man okay. show, the stand up comedy, because you are alone and it's not possible to fail because you, of course, with the music, you know, there you play DJ with sculpture, you can show it, with the movie, you can put it, make it again. But when you're on stage in front of a, a public, you have no choice, no second time. So this is very exciting and very strong. And it, it's uh, it's the only moment that you live in. You have not. It's not possible to live uh, not in the present, sure. and in, the, in this life. And it's very it's very very interesting. Even when you're sick, you're very sick. You go on stage. I know what's happening. You have headache, and everything disappeared. There is yeah, but yes. there's something so strong. And I discovered that, and, and, and it's very, very interesting, and I need that. Sometimes, you know, I, I spend a day complicated with a problem, I have to manage various things, and, I, I'm, and I'm on stage, and everything disappeared. And you live at the present, and, it, and it's the only moment that you only have to think about what you're doing. Even when I'm talking with you there, I can think what I'm, what I'm going to eat sure. tomorrow, and sure. then uh, is it the pizza will be ready for me and everything. But when you're on stage, your brain... There's nothing else. No, but you, 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 it's not the choice. It's like True. it's like that. You this is a, you don't have the choice, and and so this is very very nice uh, moment, and uh, I have the chance to live that, so I'm very happy for that, and it's it's strong. I will try that. I will you try have that. to because even if maybe if you make a, a speech or something, there is a way to to feel that, but it's it's very, not the same. Yeah, it's not the same. But it's very interesting, and also when you're very sick, I saw that I'm like I it's not not. One time I was like, uh, I have a tension, very bad tension because I make a big diet, but too strong. I go too far. 
and so I was not. Uh, it was not possible to walk, and so I and I have my show, and at night, say, oh, what can I do? And all my stuff. I, there is a public. It's not possible to cancel. I say, okay, I will do it, but I, I think I will fall down, and this magic happened. And I, go, I, I was on stage, and they say that it was my best uh, representation. So it's very, it's, it's very strange. Nice. So you have a lot of interest. Thank you for this. And I, I've, I mean, I've, I did my homework. So around you started early 2000s, 2004, if I'm right, and then uh, you developed a lot. And uh, most of the art we're used to know, which are the sculptures, are based on nature mm -hmm. in the end. Two questions. First one is why gorillas? <laughs> oh, gorillas is very simple because you know the silverback gorillas. This is silverback. There is many reasons, but the first one is that uh, we, as human beings, are very, very similar. Sure. You, you know our DNA is it's close to 99 percent point nine from them, and also they stand like us. They eat like us. So I, and they are and they are perfect because you know they are strong. They, they, they are strong. And they, they only have good things. They're protecting, like the, in the film in the movie King Kong. We are we are like fucked up because we kill for nothing. And, and the animals are it like it's not about the Kong, but the animals are are, are following a, a virtuous circle, and we are following maybe a vicious circle because mm -hmm. they kill they kill for protecting, they kill for living. We are killing for uh, no know, reason. Uh, no reason. So yeah. this, 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 sometimes there is a interesting uh, message that we can uh, pick from uh, from uh, the gor and the gorilla. I'd say you know it's. It's a, such amazing uh, animal. So, and also the pop culture uses a lot of gorilla. True. You know, Donkey Kong. You know, True. even you go with a, if you involve in NFT, you know, all the heads. And so there is a lot of uh, interesting thing. It's a, it's it's a, it's a cultural. I think. But you started earlier than that. Yeah, of course. But I love that. But it's a, it's a, it's a hype. So, yeah, yeah, yeah. Nowadays, pretty yeah. much. But you know, I'm, I'm I'm I work in watchmaking industry. So. We've seen, like, you have your own style, for sure, in that, and, uh, but we don't see animals on the watches. Why of that? Of course, it's very interesting. The question is very interesting. You know, to be honest, I have a very interesting interest, uh, experience in the, in the... To be honest, my first watches I was supposed to create was with the Gorilla. Really? Uh, yes. Always uh, for Hublot? No, it was for okay. another brand. And uh, the project don't go further. But I'm very happy for that because at, the, at this... Uh, all time, I was thinking uh, to put my art in the, but it was not an interesting thing. It was not uh, smart things. And after, when I when I have um, been uh, approached by Ublu and we start the collaboration, uh, I want to to create something that you can wear, not something like uh, from a uh, fair. You know, uh, to put an animal in this, it is no meaning. You already have this. Yes. So, so it doesn't. Just it's, go it's for that. So I love. Uh, I, I I'm a big uh, collection watch collectioner. I love watches. So I know watches. So uh, for me, it's customized is nothing. And also, to be honest, you blow allow me, give me the freedom to create whatever I want. So I want to create uh, something that people want to wear. And if you, if it was like a gold, okay. So uh, so I create something very close to my uh, DNA. And the DNA of Yublo, and then it was a big, big smash. It was like it's a banger. So, so it think, was, it was. So I think, uh, I think uh, I make a good choice, and we make a good choice. Not because you're here, but it's truly one of my favorite watches from Yublo because yeah, I think yeah. it's, it's really classic fusion in the end. Yeah. Because it's really classic on one side. Of I don't course. think the watches are groundbreaking in terms of aesthetic. Yeah. But they're refined, and I can really tell there's something more. I've heard the first one was released in 2017. Yeah, it was a titanium one, uh, and it was like a big, big success because I, in the it was in the not watch and what I don't remember the name of the, yeah. of, the of the fair, but it was like I remember it was there was 200 uh, models, 200 copy, and uh, and they, they have uh, like 5,000 requests for that, and so it wow. was like there was just surprised to have such an inspiration, and also I'm very proud because all the other brands. Uh, in a way, you know, the the collectioner of the top five uh, watch, they don't buy usually don't buy Hublot. And with this watch, they I did. see and see the comment. I see I don't like Hublot, but with this I will buy. So, you met Jean Claude Biver, but how? Like, what was the inspiration? How did you get to the point to create the final watch? Because I think I don't think it's easy. To be honest, you know, they was very surprised because when I came, I came to Ricardo for the first uh, meeting. I had the watch already done. 
Really? You never see that. Yeah, because I love designing. I I'm always designing many, many different things in many, many fields. And they are very surprised because it was already, already it was already done. Uh, of course, I'm not involved in the, all the mechanics, so sometimes sure. they have to, mod to to change stuff, and because for that it works. But the shape, everything was like, so they were like crazy because I love so much watches. So I, you know, I took inspiration from my experience and my uh, what I love, and it was really easy. What do you like in watches? I like something. Uh, I like classics. Okay. Uh, I like classics watches. I like uh, sports. It depends, you know. Like watches, like for us, for men, you know, it's the only jewelry that you can wear. Oh, you can wear a bracelet, but you know, watches. Can wear a chain. Yes, <laughs> chain. But brass, you know, watch is something. Yet it's the uh, bijou pour les hommes, so what? it's something very strong. So it have to be. And to be honest, I'm not watching the hour. I'm not uh, watching the hour. We have now everybody got a phone, and we see the sure. hour on the phone. But it's an accessory, so and, uh, and and that's it. So uh, I love many brands. I, I at the beginning I was very um, involved in the um, vintage watches. Okay. So I'm more collectioning vintage watches. So wow, also I didn't know that. Yes, yes, I nice. have a lot of a, a big collection of vintage watches. And uh, and at the end, uh, okay, with the new, uh, I'll be back with the new with my with my watch. But uh, yes, I think it's a. Uh, I'm like very mainstream. My, it's okay. It's, I'm not like uh, like you know. I don't like this very big complication and blah 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 blah. I love it. It's elegant. You know, still something that you can wear. The it's you feel good with. <laughs> Do you think they are art? Of course, it's a, it's art. It's a, it's a micro. We are we are making sculpting macro. It's a micro. It depends. Some pieces are very simple, but uh, sure. but it, yes, I think it's a kind of, kind of art. But I don't think the, you have too much to be too much like uh, you know too heavy, you know. Sometimes because sometimes you can, you can even see the, the hours because it's yeah. The, 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 I don't want to, I don't want to tell you about certain brand, but there are brands it's impossible to wear and it's just uh, not disgusting, but you have something <laughs> like. Strange, weird. Yeah, on the, on they your, must uh, be useful. In yes, the, I think the watch is, is good when you, it is art, but also something you can wear, elegant. Sure. Sure. My point of view, like sure. fashion, like everything. So you didn't have the objective to put art in watches. No, just I want to make a piece of art in a watch. Okay, but uh, I think it's better. But even with all the collab now, it is my point of view and it's my my uh, focus. I don't want to make to put the uh, Kong in the in the plates or in the. the <laughs> You can sometimes, it can, you can, because there are people who love that, but you have to make the balance. And it's always recognizable with your style, so yeah. in the end it's, it's always okay. Yeah, it's okay. Yes, What do you think about Milan? Milan? A lot of art, a yeah. lot of things going on, a lot of yeah, development. Yeah, Milan is a very interesting city. It's very, it's a very moving, there is a lot of party, there is a lot of, uh, I see, uh, we're talking about jewelry, uh, there's a, uh, Industry, so but it's, and it's cool, cool life. People are cool. There is luxury also. Yeah, and, it's getting uh, much more. Yeah, yeah, it's and it's it's really uh, it's really interesting, and you feel a special energy, nice energy. And uh, to be honest, I just I'm just here from two from two days, but uh, I can notice something that is very cool. You know, yesterday we were at uh, four uh, because I don't have lunch at the um, at the market with the, all the food market and everything. Yeah. So it's cool, you know. In, in Paris, we don't have that. Really? No, we have that in, in other place of the France, more okay. in the in the south of France, and sure. and, and not ever, not ever, not in the nice city. It's more for a special city, maybe in the in the west coast of France. I saw just uh, such a thing like that in the west coast, but in other in other city, no. So uh, there's interesting things. And talking about materials, because I've seen a lot of sculptures yesterday, and yeah. you you do have a lot of variety yeah. and a lot of personalization. Yeah. Are you exploring something more for both art and watches? Yes, uh, about what material? Mm -hmm. Yes, I love. We love to develop many different materials. So we work with gold, we work with diamond, we work with the bronze, with stainless steel, with the aluminium, with the resin, with epoxy, with the, uh, crystal, crystal uh, from the rocks, from uh, uh, wood, from uh, the dinosaur. So we have like, you know, it's a, it's like. It's very open, but uh, what is very interesting, I uh, will give you an anecdote. It's uh, we are working also with uh, new materials like Kevlar, very mm -hmm. very light, but it doesn't work because people, when it's light, they think that it's not quality. True. So True. we have to put like 
things like uh, very heavy and then the things it's very funny how the people uh, uh, yeah. understand and feel these things so so I, I, I would love to make more uh, like with new new technology but it, it doesn't work with for a, for a collection nice I didn't know that but I could I could think of about course, it you know but... even a watch uh, before when it was like heavy oh it's just a good quality True. and it's like uh, you know the Richard Mille like uh, yeah. uh, it's uh, oh it's uh, it's, it's, strange, too, strange. it's yes, too much it's, it's too much yeah. yeah didn't never thought about it do you have a favorite memory about watchmaking and, and, and art together yeah it's the question of my watch it was like a very <laughs> interesting memory if not before there is not so much collaboration with art and uh, True. Uh, there is not but even Apart from yours, there's not a lot going no. on with art. And to be honest, there is no creation from uh, artists. If you say that Genta is an artist, he, yes, he creates like uh, yeah. the Nautilus and the, but and the, and the, and the, and the Real Oak. Real Oak and uh, but, but, but I would be more surprised to see Genta creating a sculpture yeah, than a course. watch. Yeah, because of course, it was his own thing. Course. Yes, yes, of course. But do you think there's room for this? For more creations between artists and, and watchmakers? No, I don't think there is because oh, I wow. think I, I, no, because you know, I, to be honest, I think the brand don't want that. The brand they want to really? keep their own. The, you know, I think Ibro is the only brand that allow an artist to change the the shape. The, you can customize, okay, but that's it. But customize what you bring, just uh, uh, nothing special. A draw, yeah. So whatever. So I think the only brand I know. To be honest, to allow an artist to re reinvent yeah. uh, uh, and to create something from scratch, it's Hugo. I don't know. Maybe other brands exist. I didn't know. The big brands didn't exist. So you were the first one to do this? Yes, I'm proud. So. I think so. Yes, I'm proud, of course. I'm proud, I'm proud because it works. Yeah, you know, okay. it, it, sure. it, I'm proud because, okay, because if you say, if you make things and it doesn't work, I'm not proud. I'm proud because it's a big, smart week and all over the world I'm traveling. So, oh, let's you watch, even they go to the Hugo shops and say, Oh yes, it's very complicated to get it, and everybody wants to get to have it. So yes, I'm of course I'm proud. And did you expect all this when you started? No, who knows? Of course. Who knows? I was so happy to make it. I was just, just the fact to make it. I was happy. Yeah, I mean, I yeah. can imagine. Yeah. And what can we expect from the future of of your art and your collaboration? So many, so many things because I'm involved in many, many collabs. Uh, Beside the watch industry, because I'm now I'm, collab I'm collaborating with Ed, I'm making like a tennis racket, paddle racket, I'm collaborating with Puma for sneakers, football uh, shoes, uh, basket shoes. I have also um, alcohol brands. Um, You're a whole brand of satellite. Yourself. I'm working on designing satellite for a. Uh, really? Yeah, yeah. So we have like. Is it more complicated than a watch? No, okay. because I'm not only involved in the design, so okay. I'm, not, I'm not making like all the, the components. Well, satellite so, sounds fun. Though. Yeah, yeah, it's fun. So wow. we have like, I have my uh, cartoons going, it's coming out in uh, 2025, a huge cartoon worldwide, it will be in Italy also, all the, all the country. See you again? Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Mm. So I have, uh, no, I have a lot of, uh, and every day I have requests for many projects. But I'm, I'm open, I, I lo you know, when you have credibility, when you do good quality things, you can do, be involved in uh, anything. Sure, and you're also like, super welcoming. You take time to talk to people, which is yeah, yeah. Not I love that. Easy, I, I love people. Well, me too. Luckily, yeah. no, it's good. So, since you have a like pretty busy life and a lot going on, do you have a suggestion for me or for whoever? To... For you, uh, I have a lot of suggestions. <laughs> <laughs> oh, please, let no, us know. No, no, I think a suggestion is the uh, first of all. I will say something for everybody, not for you. Sure, but. I think the, there are few uh, different uh, tips that uh, young people they have to follow. Also, this first of all is the work because there are a mm -hmm. lot of the thing they can make it interesting without working. It's not possible. I think work is the, is the key because if you don't work, you don't have anything. I think you have to follow what you have inside. You know, the little voice inside your body sometimes because you know everybody. You can have advice from everybody. Like maybe like I, I said, tell you right now, but. I think you have the final cut and you know you have the solution inside your body and you have to know that this is the second thing I can I can say you don't have to you have to believe in you you have to to do something not for doing but for for a reason for a story for for there is you have the a content you know there's something that's not doing for doing because it doesn't work and also you have to you know to be focused on the present what i was told you because present is very very important it's not easy eh? yes and also uh, don't be afraid of failure because with failure without failure there's no success the people say oh you know in france we are uh, we ate the failure but 
it's not a good because fail in the state you know they, they love failure yeah, because you, if it. you fail then you can uh, go up get up and uh, and make it again and it's an experiment it's a, all life sure. is about experiment so it is very important that, that to, you have to accept failure then to become and to become someone else to become to have new experiment and it's very important and, and also when something bad happened to you and this will be my last recommendation you, you know that a lot of people say that uh, oh you know what happened to me it's because of him because of me if, if you understand that you have to say that it's because of you then you become like a very very strong man because when something happened to you okay not uh, not about disease I'm talking about you know in the, in the, the real life it's always because of you and if you if you understand you you have you have like red flag lights happening but you don't follow them that's the reason why so I think it's very good not to to be jealous to be uh, this is because I, you know most of the people they say oh you know I have been fired because but you've been fired because you, you had I think you did something wrong or something, but they, people don't understand that they, they love to complain, yeah. complain and complain, and sure. stop complaining, complain, you, you, you did the wrong things and, and I think this is a good, uh, good recommendation. Thank you. Last one and, we, and I leave you to Milan. You watch us, two beyond, yeah. new colors, a yeah. lot going on. Yeah. What's your favorite color and what's your favorite creation you did with your blog? Oh, it's very complicated. I know the, the favorite is the next one. <laughs> yes, of course. And always when it's a new baby, you favorite with a new one. Of course. But uh, I think this one is, uh, is something uh, very interesting. You know, I'm very proud of this model. I, for, of course, the first model because it was like a smash and sure, everybody want to sure. buy it. And it was you know, the first you know, one. The color, yeah. ceramic and titanium and whatever. But this one is very elegant classy and uh, I'm very proud of this model and you know why because all the the owners of the big brands send me messages about this world you say you ma you make something very and to be honest when the when the the guys from uh, from uh, Patek uh, told me that we did we did something you know they are very concurrency all the brands and when sure. they say then they say you, you've done something really huge I was very proud because the first time in my life that such a brand told me that I designed something uh, and they are like, you know, yeah, well, they, are big, they are big, but, but when I have been told, and many people told me that, people from uh, Rolex, people from Also uh, other artists? No, other artists, they're jealous, they don't say that. Really? It's like yeah, watch brands? Yes, exactly. Oh. Mm. No. More than the watch brand, because more. their ego, yeah. there's more ego in the artist than in the, because watch brand is about money money selling blah 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 it's what, who have the more you know but in the in the in the art it's like ego is like the people can can kill for ego wow so it's very very i don't see you uh, uh, as that much ego i don't care i don't know ego <laughs> i don't care i'm doing my i'm following my road and i don't care about what happened so <laughs> too tired to yes, care yes yes i don't have to <laughs> care it's okay do what you want shout 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 you know super well thank you so much for your thank time you. it was a true pleasure thank you Guys, let us know what was your favorite moment, which is your favorite watch from the collaboration with Orlinsky and Hublot. And uh, subscribe, leave some comments, like the video, and see you in the next video to talk about watchmaking, art, and passions. <laughs>